So here's the, the other um, part of the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the uh, process of induction is you're often looking for the smaller cases embedded within the big one, right? So here, I have an eight by eight chessboard. Are there some natural four by four chessboards here I might want to look at? Yeah? Where? Maybe, maybe this four by four? No? Why not? It's a four by four. No, okay. Maybe, um, maybe, th maybe this one. This seems kind of natural, right? Oh, ooh, interesting. Okay. So, if it's true for a four by four that if I remove a tile, a square, that I can tile it by, um, by L-shaped tiles, can you see how this would help me do one of these four by fours? The inductive uh, hypothesis would let me do this part, wouldn't it? I don't even need to know how it was done, right? That's what's beautiful, no insight needed. Okay, but I can do this somehow, yes? So can do by the inductive hypothesis. Okay, now can the inductive hypothesis enable me to do these parts? Not yet, I gotta remove a square from each of them. But maybe I'll do that in a way that it forms an L-shaped tile, yes? Can you do that? Yes, in fact, how about these three squares right here? Would you agree they form an L-shaped tile? And then everything else I can do, right? Agreed? Induction, okay, that's the, the ethos of, uh, of this method. And this is almost beautiful enough that you don't have to write out the argument, but I'll trust that you can write it out carefully. I'll just summarize it here, right? For the, uh, for the inductive step, what you really want to do is, okay, so this is where you have to be careful. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to be very careful about this because there, there's often a, an error here that people make without realizing. Um, I'm going to, uh, I want to leave the principle of induction up, and I actually want to leave that up too. So uh, I'm going to erase this if you don't mind. So, I'm about to show B. What can I assume? I can assume that the statement is holds for K, and I'm trying to show it, it's true for K plus 1. So here, I can assume, so for the inductive step, so I'm going to be very explicit here, um, we can assume um, uh, any 2 to the k by 2 to the k board with a square removed is, uh, can be tiled, etc., by L-shaped tiles. That's what we can assume. What are we trying to show? What should I start with now in order to finish, uh, to do uh, part B here? What should I start with? A 2 to the k by 2 to the k board? Build up on it? No. What should I start with? A 2 to the k plus 1 by 2 to the k plus 1 board. Very, very important distinction. Many, many of you I know are tempted to start with a 2 to the k by 2 to the k board because that's part of what you're assuming you know is true. But what the problem is asking you to show is that the statement is true for any 2 to the k plus 1 times 2 to the k plus 1 board. So you have to start with that. So um, let's start with, consider a 2 to the k plus 1 by 2 to the k plus 1 board. With one tile removed, with a square removed, Okay, and now describe this process. So that's, I'll let you do that, but um, we'll say um, we can 
divide uh, the board into four parts. One with uh, a, the, the that with the original square removed. And three with three full four by four uh, two uh, two to the k by two to the k boards. I might as well give these names. Let's say uh, let's call this. Uh, okay, so maybe I'll just say the 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 first can be tiled by the inductive hypothesis. And then the last three can be tiled once you do what? Remove a square from each in an L-shaped manner. The remaining three can be tiled by the inductive hypothesis once a Three uh, once a uh, a tile has been removed. Let's remove one in an L shape. C figure. Okay, this is how I would write it out. Okay. Oh, great. So then the whole thing can be tiled. So the new board, so the large board can be tiled. So the 2k plus 1 by 2 to the k plus 1 board can be tiled. With one square removed, can be tiled. OK, great. Have I completed what I, was, I set out to do? I've shown the base case. I've shown the inductive step. Uh, and so now, um, by the principle of induction, I'll just insert a little p thing here. By the principle of induction, uh, the statement holds. I would probably write out the statement again, but for the purposes of board work, I will just remind you that this, the whole statement holds. Okay. Now, Here's what I want you to notice, it's, it's, it, it, and I, I, I'm going to point this out here because in some other cases it might not be so obvious. But do you see if do you see the how how this would be different if you had started with a two to the k by two to the k board, which is the wrong approach? Do you see why what would be wrong about starting with a two to the k by two to the k board? Somebody tell me what's wrong with starting with the 2 to the k by 2 to the k board. Someone I haven't heard from yet. Yeah, still on. You're starting off with what you assumed, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's, a true, it's true that for a, two, uh, a, a small board, you can tile it if you remove a square. But what's, what's wrong in terms of establishing the inductive step? What's wrong with that? Yes. Excellent. Remind me your name. Lindsay. Lindsay. Yes. Lindsay's point is you want to start with a general large board, a 2 to the k plus 1 by 2 to the k plus 1 board. And it's not obvious if you start with a 2 to the k by 2 to the k board, let's call it a small board here, it's not obvious that if you do this and then you throw together some extra pieces like this, that you, you have a general enough board, right? The, the general board is this one in, in which you find the smaller pieces to appeal to the inductive hypothesis the inductive step, right? But if you start with this, how do I know that ev 